The People Chair as Governor Ifanyo Koa arrives in Ubuluku to inaugurate various projects in the community, including roads. Accompanied by the minority leader in the House of Representatives, Ndudi Elumelu, traditional rulers and other government officials, he commissions the DBS Ishore Road, which was in a deplorable state before it was awarded for reconstruction. Appreciating Governor Koa for the work done so far, President General of Ubuluku Development Council, Jonathan Moyer, is also calling for the completion of the Ubuluku Onichobo Road, which he says poses serious security challenges to the community. It is only a living person that can enjoy life. Then people tell no tales. The ugly security trends suddenly ravaging our communities of great concern. Your Excellency, you are in no doubt dealing with the menace. Ubuluku wants to be in the center stage. Oshimili South Local Government Council is the next stop where the governor inaugurates the reconstructed Executive Council Complex, a skill acquisition center and streetlights powered by solar energy. Outgoing chairman of the council is proud to have some of these projects in place, but notes that these are only a fraction of the people's needs. The road just behind us here. Our staff finding the usual parking places, and this road is very bad. So we are giving staff, the road is just how many meters. We are giving the Rusa. You can help us to find the Rusa. We can get the insurance to this local government and to the constituents of this local Issues the governor is quite optimistic will be taken care of. The governor also announced that more projects are still in the works, including construction of the Ishiagwe Wulu Road, which will commence before the end of January 2021.